Open your folders to emphasis and contrast. Circle the definition for emphasis and read along. Begin. A principle of art by which the artist may use opposing sizes or shapes, contrasting colors, or other means to draw greater attention to certain areas in a work of art. Now draw an arrow down to contrast and then circle the definition for contrast because you have to have contrast to create emphasis. Now circle the definition for contrast and read along, go. A principle of art that refers to the differences in values, colors, textures, and ele other elements in a work of art. It is used to achieve emphasis and interest. Now sit back, relax, and watch examples of emphasis. Look for the one object that draws your attention the most, and then try to identify which element of art is contrasting. Finish watching this video first and then complete this page. On the first drawing, you're going to create emphasis on the circle of your choice by coloring it orange and coloring the rest of the drawing blue. Notice that I colored one my circle first and then I outlined it with a dark line. There's not a box around that so I want you to make sure you outline it. Then I used the side of my pencil to shade it all in blue. Now I'm going back and highlighting with a little darker blue and I'm going to choose a few shapes to make an even darker blue. So I've got some value contrast in the blue and then just one spot that's orange. The next one is violet and yellow. Make the square yellow and make it a little bit bigger of a square than the original square. Make that yellow square just a little bit bigger. Then shade it in and with the side of your violet colored pencil and then just add a few highlights. To make it a little bit darker in some areas, it doesn't have to look exactly like mine, you can play with it. And then the last one, create emphasis on, an, on the organic circle of your choice by coloring it green and the rest of the drawing red. So shade in any organic shape, any rock you want, shade it in green. Use the side of your colored pencil to shade the rest in red. And then go back and make some darker areas with the red so it brings those forms back out a little bit. Okay. We're getting ready to pass out colored pencils and complete this page. Okay, we're going to pass out colored pencils now. I want you to notice that I have them all on a block of wood for you. They're all color coded. When you get them, there should not be a single one missing. If there is, you need to say, Miss Littlefinger, there's one missing. What you need to not do at the end of class is go, Miss Littlefinger, there's only one left in the entire container. We didn't have any. It's too late then. Because at the end of class, you have to have all of these in the box. If there's one missing, your entire table's got to look for it. Nobody's off the hook until you find them all. And they have to be in order. And they have to be in order. And they have to be in order. And they have to be in order.